Hey everyone, my name is Jordan Jurgensen and I am the symbol instructor for Minnesota Brass Indoor. Uh, very excited to get this winter season going and assuming you are as well. Uh, within these videos, we are going to be going over three uh, basic types of things that are kind of get you into auditions rolling and um, really help you have the best opportunity possible in making uh, an independent winter drum line. Um, the things that we will be covering are going to be positions, both body posture as well as symbols. Um, basic flips that are going to get you onto that same level as anybody else and then also rolling into the technique that we use at Minnesota Brass. As well as just basic sounds, just so, you, so, so we can get that, the best sounds coming out of our instrument and that we can have that level um, that we, we need going into this to be set up for success. Um, very excited to get things rolling, very excited that you uh, are showing some form of interest and really hope to see you there. All right, so starting out, what we want to be thinking about is, we're just going to be in a, in a first position. Um, what we want to be thinking about is, we're thinking of our hips being in line with our shoulders. So our shoulders are going to be back and our hips are going to be set back just a little bit. So we want to make sure that if, there was, if we were to think of our hip line as a bowl, we don't want to be dumping out the water and we don't want to be spilling on ourselves. We want to have a nice, even thing, even plane right here, and then as well as our shoulders right in line coming down here. We want to have our chest out to show a little bit of presence. And then we're going to let our hands just relax. So if we completely, if you feel this, if you try this along with me, you have to almost try to get your hands to do this. You feel that tension in your shoulders and in your pecs right here. It's like you're, it's not a natural position to stand like this. So we want to naturally relax with our arms. And when you do that, you'll see this little bit of a curve within our arms here with our shoulders back. So we want that. We want to be thinking of our elbows. Our elbows aren't going to be cocked here and they're not going to be completely straight. We're just a nice, if we were to just completely relax our arms, just nice and relaxed right here. We're going to also be thinking of our middle fingers are going to be right here that where our pants and seam would be. So just a nice relaxed feel for that. Okay? All right, so transitioning over now with symbols on our hands. So going back to that, what we were talking about, we don't want this, right? So now this kind of transitions in a little bit more on how this would look if we had that super straight arm like I was talking about. So we're gonna want that nice elbow bend right here. So just engaged, shoulders are back, right? And then our hands, so, so your hands are gonna be right on where that hip bone is gonna be. So this is the top of my hip right in here. We're gonna want it to be right within that. So that's where our hands are gonna be resting like that. So chest is out, that slight curve within our arms. And then what we're thinking about is our symbols are gonna be razors. We wanna make sure that we're straight forward with those symbols and that we're not thinking about coming in like this. We're not gonna be flared back like that. We want them to be as much as a slim profile as possible, just up and down within that, okay? So that will be our set position that we're going to be working on. The next position is going to be called, so we refer to it as a second position, other places it's called gumption. Um, it's going to be just kind of basically, uh, we're thinking about the center of our body. If I were to have a bar coming right out of my sternum, right in here, we're going to be thinking about that you're, we're going to put that right there, right underneath that, because we're going to hold that, that bar coming out, we're going to hold that right there. So, what we're thinking about is a seatbelt angle, as if we had a seatbelt on, it's just going to come across the shoulder and over the hip, and it's just going to be right there. We're thinking about a two inch spacing between our symbols, we don't want to be too close, we don't want to be too far apart, just a nice comfortable two inches. And here's that view from the side. So what we're also thinking about is a straight line from our fingertips through our elbow. So we're thinking about that right in there. And there's that angle again. And then here it is from that, that side. It's uh, really important to be thinking about that straight line from the fingers right in here through that elbow. Otherwise we get a bit of a bends in our wrists that can throw off one with that angle of where we're at. And we want that nice straight line from here all the way to our elbow. It's gonna cause less tension on our wrists 
and enable us playing, flipping, and setting ourselves up for our step. The next position that we're going to go to is going to be a first position or vertical. So that is just going to be right up here. So again, we're thinking about the two inch spacing between our uh, symbols. And then we're also going to be thinking about um, our triceps. So our triceps is going to be right under the bicep, yeah? That is going to be parallel to the ground. So, and then as we come out, we're thinking about our knots at eye level. And that's going to be our first position right there. So we're looking through that, we're seeing that, and we're feeling that. So we want to make sure that our elbows don't get out like this. We don't want to make sure that our elbows are like this. Just nice, straight out from our body. And then there we have that. Yeah. So those were our in-strap um, positions. Now we are going to have our out-of-strap positions. Um, just our basic ones that we're gonna have, it's gonna be uh, called waiter. So waiter uh, on a strap is when we are completely, again, the strap isn't on our hand. Um, so what we're gonna be thinking about is, when we go into this position, we're shooting for this to be flat, right? So we wanna make sure that we're not this, in here like this. We wanna make sure that we're not up like that. We want it to be nice and flat. We're thinking of our shoulders. So I'll do one with it so we can see that. And one without. So our, our, our arms are going to be out. What happens, te what tends to happen with this when we bring our elbows in, is you can see the symbols kind of end up flat. So we want our, our elbows to be out. We're not thinking about the symbols completely against our body. They are off our body, just slightly. And then our hands are going to be nice and spread out, ready to control that symbol within whatever we're going to make to it from there. The next position that we're going to talk about is going to be, so this would be uh, similar to like uh, second position or redemption. The next one we're going to be thinking about is vertical or um, uh, uh, first position, but it's going to, so this is going to be hammer. So within this, so just like first position, um, it, it's going to be up here. We're going to be thinking about that, that spot that we're looking at on our eye level. So we're not going to be thinking about knots like we would for first because then our symbols are going to be a little bit too high up. So as opposed to being, this is where our knots would be within that. What we're thinking about is our, where the strap meets our wrist. So we're going to bring that down just a little bit slightly, and then it's going to be right there. And that's at eye level. So again, with that spacing, we're thinking about two inches between our symbols, and we're going to try again to make those to be razors and nice up and down. We don't want to be thinking about flaring out like this. We don't want to be thinking about like that, and we don't want to be too wide. We're going to be nice, pointing, pointing it out, and thinking about that two inch spacing within that. All right, so that is the body position and also symbol positioning portion of our videos. Um, the main thing that I would really try to uh, preach upon you when I'm more practicing and going over this stuff is to be thinking about uh, videotaping ourselves. Um, it's very uh, easy to miss things when we're just trying to fix things within a first person uh, view of what's going on. We uh, can miss things that's happening in our hips. We can, um, there's just, so many things that we just will miss as opposed to being able to look back on a video you we literally aren't actively doing something and we can see those things happen almost in real time and fix those and even slow it down and look at look at extremely minor things so within all of these things in all of these videos that's the main thing that i would tell you to do to practice and to uh, really better yourself as a, as a musician and um, as, a, as, a, as a civil player. Um, is just to take videos, watch it, break it down, and be really, really, really uh, critical of yourself. Um, awesome. Thank you for tuning in and checking this out. And excited to see you in the next videos.